Now, more insights from Weon correspondent Doug Ruti Dave on this. Uh, on this. Yes, there's mixed reactions here in the United States to this uh, decision to conduct a strike that has killed uh, Qasem Soleimani, this important figure uh, for um, Iran, for the Iranian regime. You have figures like former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, who is saying this is a hugely escalatory move in an already dangerous region. President Trump just tossed a stick of dynamite into a tinderbox. You have other members of the uh, Foreign Affairs uh, Committee in um, the Senate who are questioning this decision. Uh, they say that, yes, um, uh, 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 Soleimani uh, was considered uh, an enemy of America, but they did this without congressional approval. There doesn't seem to be any sort of UN consensus around um, this sort of action that's taken place. So has the US just gone and unilaterally conducted um, an attack? Some, some experts are calling it an assassination uh, on foreign soil. What does this mean? This is huge hugely uncharted territory and hugely uh, difficult situation to be in. On the other hand, you have people like Marco Rubio, Nikki Haley, Republicans, former UN, U.S. ambassador to the U.N., uh, Marco Rubio, a former uh, a member sorry, of the Foreign Affairs Committee um, in the Senate, who says that actually this was a good decision by the United States. It's showing strength to Iran. The United States has uh, give, shown its red lines to Iran on so many occasions, and Iran has crossed them, so now there must be consequences. Yes, so the uh, Pentagon statement um, said that they understood that Soleimani was uh, behind uh, going, to, going to orchestrate further attacks on American personnel in the region, in Iraq and the wider region. And now they already say, the United States authorities already say that Soleimani was behind the uh, attack that killed the U.S. contractor on an Iraqi base in Kirkuk in northern Iraq. Um, and also he, they hold uh, Soleimani responsible for the violence violent protests at the uh, U.S. embassy in Baghdad. And Mark Esper, the defense secretary, after those protests and before this strike, had said that they are willing, the United States is willing to take preemptive strikes, not, not retaliatory anymore. If they had got word that, um, that uh, Iranian-backed militia were planning anything, they were going to uh, strike first. And this clearly is what they have done here. Also in particular, uh, as well as what they say is a credible um, intelligence that he was, that Soleimani was intending to uh, orchestrate further attacks. Um, Soleimani has been on the US radar for a while now. He's an influential figure. He has been... Um the leader of the Quds Force for the last uh, since uh, the late 1990s and he's been as well as uh, engaged in covert oper mil military operations for Iran he's also been um, expanding uh, Iranian influence in regions like Iraq and Syria and um, th there have been twice in several occasions that Israeli forces have tried have wanted to um, engage in attack have wanted to take out Soleimani but uh, Presidents Obama and George Bush both both said uh, to, for restraint because they knew how significant he was to the Iranians and how uh, volatile the region was and how significant it would be if he was uh, taken out in a strike. But this is what's happened this time round, that this senior official has been, uh, tar was targeted and has, according to the Pentagon, been killed in US-led strikes. So this is unprecedented. This is serious. He's been on the radar for a while, but the ramifications of this are huge. And yes, it's right to say that we might not see um, uh, consequences immediately. Iran is, is responding with anger and with threats, with further threats. But it's over the next few days and weeks that we will see what happens as a result of this uh, momentous, momentous event. Now, these are the Friday prayers currently being held in Tehran, in Iran, remembering Soleimani. Now, remember, Iran's supreme leader calls for three days of mourning for Soleimani. Iran President Hassan Rouhani vows to avenge the killing. Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif has come down heavily on the United States and he has called the strikes an act of international terrorism. Now we are coming to you with live visuals being held at Friday prayers in Tehran. And uh, these prayers are remembering Soleimani. Now, of course, um, Iran's supreme leader uh, has called for three days of mourning for Soleimani. 
uh, President Hassan Rouhani has uh, vowed to avenge this killing. Iran's uh, Foreign Minister Javed Zarif has also come down heavily on the United States and he has uh, called this an act of international terrorism. Coming to you still with the live visuals of the prayers, the Friday prayers, uh, remembering Soleimani.